Cyberbullying, sexting, and online predators. There are so many things to warn children about before they use technology, but they may not listen when the message comes from parents, teachers, or police. So some teens are speaking up. WSLS 10's Angela Hatcher with how a new program, pilot program, in Bedford County could change the conversation across the country. It's Cyber Safety Week at Jefferson Forest High. We will be showing you a presentation brought to you by the Safe Surfing Foundation and the JF Cyber SWAT team. The college would never accept me if they saw that. Students star in this video to prove what can happen when teens star in videos on social media. The scenario you just saw wasn't real, but the problem is. I like to try and keep it as PG as I can. Senior Cayman Morris tries to keep his profile low on social media. He wants to play lacrosse at the next level. Cayman is looking at colleges and doesn't want them looking down on him. I would definitely prefer to keep any videos that would uh, that would uh, tarnish my reputation to said colleges off of uh, <laughs> social media. It's a lesson he hopes he can teach to younger kids. He joined the school's cyber SWAT team with two friends. We feel as if when we speak to them, it'll mean more because it's coming from people that they would look up to. SWAT stands for safety when accessing technology. The teens will teach age appropriate internet safety lessons in middle and elementary schools. The Safe Surfing Foundation will launch a second program in Los Angeles. Sheriff Mike Brown says there are plans to take it nationwide, but JF has the very first chapter. You're top notch. To get students excited, their resource officer takes a pie to the face with hopes this is the most embarrassing video they'll see go viral. In Forest, Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10.